Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, February 17th, 2024. Can you believe we're over halfway through February? I just don't even know where the time is going. It's going by so fast. And uh, I know some of you guys are just crawling out of bed, or maybe you're still in bed. I know I haven't been out of bed for too long. <laughs> and, but I am awake and ready to... Um, show you guys this cute card that I made. So this is our new card kit for the next two weeks. So starting yesterday, if you placed an order yesterday through the end of the month, and this month we're only having 29 days. So um, it is leap year, so we have an extra day, but um, only, let's see, today's 17. So 12 days you've got to get this card kit if you want. So we're gonna make three cards today because this is a pretty easy one. And it's using the Flight and Airy paper. And I know I had mentioned I might do a one sheet wonder today, but then I was looking through my stuff and I had like five or six packs of this still, and it's gonna be gone at the end of the month. And I'm like, I gotta use this paper. So that's why I decided to do the card kit with this paper so I could use some of it up. So um, I hope you guys are coming in. I don't know what's going on with my computer. I don't know if you guys are having this issue, but my chat is under the video instead of next to the video. And I can't figure out how to get it back to the side. So I can only see the chat if I scroll the video up. So I can only watch the video or watch the chat, <laughs> which kind of stinks. I like to see both. <laughs> so if, are any of you guys having that issue this morning? I've never had that happen before. And I can't figure out how to move the box back up. But uh, let me say hello. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Julie. Hey, um, oh, both of you guys said hello again. Hey, Karen. Hey, Marie. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Diane. Hey, oh, I already said Julie. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Paula. Hey, Vicky. Oops. I just went scrolling by. Let me see where I stopped. Wendy. Hey, Hilda. Hey, Marva. Hey, Anya. Hey, Carol. Hey, Linda. Hey, Karen. Hey, Nedra. Nedra. Ned. I think I always say that wrong. It's Nedra. Um, Betty. Hey, Regina. Hey, Kathy from Canada. Hey, Carol. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Debbie. Another Debbie and another Debbie. Boy, we got like five Debbies on here already. Um, hey, Linda. Hey, Carol Ann. You see it on the side. Okay, Wendy says hers is on the side. That's so weird. And I tried. I have a Mac. So you can like tap the mouse and it's supposed to like, you know, make the screen bigger or smaller. And it's not doing anything. So I don't know. Hey, Jilly. Um, hey, Beverly. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Cecilia. Hey, Lori. Hey, Audrey. All right, I think I'm going to stop now because we just got a ton of people coming on. Hey, Reva. All right, so this is what we're making. If you just joined in, we're making three of these cards, and they're super easy. And I'm using a color that I never, ever, ever use. It's Flirty Flamingo. And I was just um, looking at the colors on the back of here, and... That was one of them, and I was like, flirty flamingo. I never used that color, so I got it out. And I'm like, man, that matches perfectly with all that on there. So that's why I picked that color. And this is the paper. So if you do not have this paper, this is the number one selling item in the celebration catalog. And well, not really selling, but number one free gift that people have picked. So it's definitely popular. I am shocked that it hasn't sold out yet because last year it seemed like everything that was popular sold out. So it is gorgeous paper. So we're using this piece right here with the flower vines. And then what I did was I took this piece, which is in here somewhere. And the front is really pretty like birds. Oh, I, this is the piece I used. So I took this piece right here. Let me show you the rest of it. And this piece is so gorgeous. I love it. And the back is blue. And then we've got this one and this one. And this one is great to cut your birds out. And you get like 25 birds on the page that you could cut out and do. And I almost did that one, but they're all different colors. And I really wanted 
to try and stick with the um, Flirty Flamingo color. So that's why I picked the other sheet. But all right. So what I did was I took my hexagon punch and I tried a few different punches to see which one would look better. And I just kind of went around the paper and punched these out. So just kind of lined it up punched them out and that's where I came up with that. So you get all different ones on here. So I just kind of went around the whole page and then I just snip it off. And then like, if I got one like this, that's kind of um, tricky to get to do that. Oops. And then kind of situate this in here. So it might be off to the side cause you want to get this one here. So maybe do this one off to the side a little bit oops and and then you should have room to get this one too and I just kept on going and just kept popping them out and then you just get a whole page full so when you get your card kit if you place an order this is the new host code and please make sure you use that so if your order is over $50 you'll get this card kit um, in the mail to make three of these and also, if your order's over $100, you'll get a pack of gems to go with it. And it's going to be the um, iridescent pearls this time, but I forgot to bring a pack with me, but I just ordered a bunch of them. So that's what we're going to do. And then also, it's still a celebration for 12 more days. So you can get this paper for free um, with your $50 order too. And then anything else you want in here pretty much. There's a couple things that are with a $100 order, but almost everything in here is with a $50 order. This is my other favorite thing. And oh, so <laughs> I felt like a real dummy after I read some of the comments um, after the video because somebody asked about this dragonfly and said, does the dragonfly punch go with this? And I said, well, I don't know. I think the dragonfly punch is retired. No, it's in the catalog. And it's also a free celebration item. <laughs> so I'm thinking it probably does go with the punch. I can't find my punch. I went searching all over the house for it. I can't find my punch. So I don't know. It's in a box somewhere with yeah, probably a kit um, that I did in a video. And uh, I'm still working on cleaning my stamp room. So I can't find my punch to check. So does anybody know? Have you tried this? I'm pretty sure it looks like it does fit in that punch. But that dragonfly punch is a free celebration gift right now because they added a bunch of things on February 1st. So um, if you do place a $50 order, you can pick the punch as your free item um, along with anything in here. And there's about 10 more items that they added um, that you can check out online. So that was the card I did in the last video. And I was just laughing at myself when I saw that. I'm like, I can't believe I thought that punch retired last year. I have not used it since the new catalog came out. So no telling where it is. <laughs> oh, Cecilia, I love this paper too. Love it, love it. Oh, let's see. Love the birds. Just made a dogwood card. Oh, you just made the card, Anya, from the last video. Good. Um, seems that I can't chat and see you here at the same time. Hey, Darlene, I can... um see you you can't chat and see i know are you having an issue with the box being under the video because that's my problem now i've kind of got it split right now so i've got the chat in the bottom half of the screen and the bottom half of my video in the top um oh it does not punch it out so Lori um says it does not punch it out okay well that answers that question because it looks like it does but i don't know I uh, can't find it. The punch is bigger. Well, okay. So you just got to cut it out. It's easy to cut out. And that's that stamp set that I used last time, the um, dogwood one. And that's a free item too. So if you wanted that dogwood set, it's free right here. So that's the dragonfly that we're talking about right now. So I'm wondering why they added the dragonfly punch as a free item if it doesn't really punch that out. Interesting. Well... All right, so today, after the video, I'm going to be cutting the card kits from the last two weeks. So if you ordered in the last two weeks, I'll be cutting these kits up today. 
and mailing them out. If I get done before the mailman comes, they'll go out today. If not, they'll go out Monday. And if your order's over 100, you get one of these packs of gems. So those will go out in the next day, today or Monday. Um, oh, I got a couple cards in the mail. Oh, I forgot to tell you something else too. The rest of celebration. So don't forget, um, if you order your 50 or 100, you get the card kit and the gems and the free celebration item. Um, $100, you get two free celebrations and the gems and the card kit. But we also have the starter kit special, which is great. Even if you don't want to be a demonstrator and you don't ever want to sell anything, you just want to get the discount or you just want to get the kit. You don't have to do anything. So for 99 bucks, you can get either $155 in product. So you get the bonus $30 and free shipping on that whole order. Or you can get $125 and the free glass mat kit. And that glass mat kit is really cool. I finally took mine out of the box and, and was using it the other day. So um, it is really cool. I don't use it in here because of the glare from the light. Um, I've seen people using it on their videos and it just, um, it's hard to see because of the glare on it. But uh, it is a really, really nice glass mat and it's very heavy and it just is really nice. And it comes with that nice silicone mat that you can watercolor with. And then don't forget, if you have a big order with a couple friends or something, you get an extra $30 if your order is over $300. So that's $66 in host rewards for a $300 order. All right, here's the cards I got. This one is from Diane Eckleberry, who's in my downline and an awesome stamper. So this is for the Fun Fold Contest. Is that cool or what? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that's using my favorite paper. And this kind of inspired my card because I loved that piece of paper right there. So that's why I picked that for mine. And um, she gave me the measurement. So I'm probably going to have to copy this card and do it in a video so I can show you guys how to do it. Because I love it. So that's for the Fun Fold card contest. So if you have missed the last couple videos, I'm having a contest. So all you have to do is make a card with a Fun Fold. If you haven't mailed yours yet, it would be great if you could do what Diane did and put the measurements on there for scoring and stuff or cutting and scoring. That would make it a lot easier if I decide to do yours in a video. So um, that would save me a lot of time from having to measure everything. So if you've already mailed it, no big deal. But if you haven't, if you could put the measurements for me, that'd be great. Um, this one is from Cindy Nielsen. And Cindy made this cute card. Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it. I think that paper was some of our DSP um, a while back. I love it. I think that's, what was that color? Something rose, like, um, gosh, that was one of my favorite colors too. I can't remember what the name of it was. So thank you, Cindy. I love it, love it. And then this one, I got a Valentine's card from Darlene um, Erickson. Isn't that cute? So thank you, Darlene, for that card. And I see a bunch more cards are coming in today. today's mail. I saw that. So um, you guys uh, get those cards in. Oh, Rococo Rose. That's it, Rococo Rose. Yeah, I love that color. All right, so, oh, let me give you my address. So if you want to do the card contest, the only rules are it has to be Stampin' Up! product, preferably current Stampin' Up! product, and um, do a fun fold, any kind of fun fold. So it doesn't matter what kind. And then I'm going to pick the top three, and you'll get a prize in the mail from me. And I might feature your card in a video. All right, let me see. Comments, comments. You can use the tiny dragonfly because they probably had a ton to get rid of. Oh, <laughs> they had a ton to get rid of. Yep. Um, you got lots of people. Oh, watching. Oh, don't forget to do thumbs up and like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for me. Um, oh, the dragonfly punch is free with a hundred dollar order. Okay. I guess because they're like 20 bucks. That punches went up a lot. I thought they were $18.95 and I went and checked on one the other day and it was like $22.95. I said, holy cow. But, you know, everything's going up. 
Love that fun fold bird card. Yes, Sherry, I do too. Diane's one of my best downline for making awesome cards. She makes me cards all the time and I love, love, love them. All right, so that's my address to send the card. So let me show you what you need for this card. And remember, if you do an order, you get this kit. So you'll get all this stuff right here that I've got in my hands to make this card. Um, so you need three pieces of five and a half by eight and a half white, three pieces of five and a quarter by four, Flirty Flamingo. Now this is if you wanna make three cards. That's what we're doing today, three cards. If you just wanna make one, then just get one. But it's easier to go ahead and cut a bunch. Um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter boho blue. Three by four DSP. Now that I cut this, this measurement, I had started with a little bit bigger piece. But then I thought, well, if I do it three by four, I can get 12 out of one sheet. So smart measuring. So if you have a 12 by 12 sheet, if you can kind of keep it to three inches by four inches or four by four, three by three, you get a lot more pieces out of it than if you kind of cut it at like four and a quarter by five, then you um, only get six. So um, just a tip there. And then we've got a lot of pieces. Two by two and a half boho blue, um, three by four of the designer paper. That's gonna go on the inside of the card right here. And those were just scraps I had left over. I cut and then I punched out three sets of birds and I've got three little white pieces for the words. And this is just half inch scraps that, um, is it half an inch? Yeah, half an inch scraps that I have left over. When I cut paper down to like uh, card front size, I have a billion of these. So I just cut that down to, I think one and a half inches for the words right here. So that's all you need. This is driving me crazy. I can't see these comments. <laughs> I have to go way down at the bottom of my page. I got to do laundry today too. Go ahead and make four cards. <laughs> I only cut for three, so we're making three. So this will be the card kit. So if you order your $50, you get all of this plus the gems to make this kit. So um, some of you guys order and then I always send an email out with the directions and the link to the video. And um, I've had a couple people email me and say, you know, I got a card kit, but I don't know what it goes to. And um, I'm like, okay, well, I sent the directions. And then they go check their email, and there's the directions. So make sure you're checking your email. If you get a pack in the mail, make sure you check your email to see if the directions are in there. And that they didn't go to your spam folder. Because for some reason, I have, like, a lot of emails going to my spam folder now. I don't know what's going on, but that's crazy. All right, so let's get started. Hopefully you got a screenshot of that. And I can't even see what I'm doing because I'm trying to look at the comments. Card is great, using a punch is brilliant. But the punch, does, oh, to punch those out. Yes, well I know, because I was gonna cut them out. At first I thought I'll just cut this out. I'm like, oh, that's a lot of work. So I wanted to make it easier. Because you know I am all about easy. I know some of you guys like complicated, but I try to make it as easy as I can. All right, so let's get all this over here and get started. All right, let's do the inside first since that's easy peasy. All right, so we're just going to take our little strips here. And the only thing I did was just glue that down there. If you want to put some words inside, because I put just a note on the front. If you want to put just a note to say happy birthday or um, hope you're feeling better or you could put anything you want inside. So that's a great card to just leave like that. And then when you're ready to give it to somebody, put um, whatever you want. All right, so we're just gonna glue these down and you could really do the other side too. I got a brand new bottle of glue, so it's coming out fast today. Might need to put my glasses on because I can't see. How many of you guys are like that? You, you think you can see and you try it and then you're like, no, I can't see. I'm still blind as a bat. Did I tell you guys I went to the eye doctor a couple weeks ago and he told me I have cataracts starting, but they're only like 
10 or 15 percent so i gotta wait till they get to like 30 percent before i can get cataract surgery <laughs> and then he said i would have perfect vision again not that i want to have cataracts but i can't afford lasik surgery so i guess if insurance will cover the cataract oops the cataract surgery i'll wait on that a few years <laughs> But I'm blind as a bat. I wear contacts and reading glasses. And if I take my contacts out, I can't hardly see two feet in front of me. Okay, so inside's done. So that was super easy. All right, so then we're done with this piece right here. We're going to work on the background. So this, we're going to be using my favorite stamp. Anybody know what it is? My favorite background stamp. I use it all the time, and we're using Flirty Flamingo. It looks like a biology project, and it's from Artistically Inked. It is the fetal pig. All right, so we're just going to stamp this all around the edge. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm going to turn it around a little bit. We just want the edge because the rest is going to be covered. So just kind of stamp it to give you that really pretty watercolory look. Is that a word? Watercolory. So see the difference? Just from having it plain and having that, it just makes it, oh, just pop. I love it. Love it. I love this stamp. This is like really one of my favorite stamps for creating backgrounds. It just looks so pretty. Looks like you took the watercolor and just did it on there. Love it. And you don't have to have any talent to do this. You're just Bang it on your paper. Sounds like somebody's knocking at my door. <laughs> Got a little rhythm going here. Ta-da! Okay, so there's our front pieces. So that's all done. And we're done with this color. We're not doing too much stamping today. Most of it is just putting stuff together. Um, all right, we're gonna do our little words. So I've got just a note and I'm doing that in black. Memento black. And the just a note, um, no idea where that's from. I know you guys, that drives you crazy probably when I say that. <laughs> If you saw my desk, you would understand. I have a pile of words sitting there that I just never put away. So I just grabbed one that, that looks, oh, that's crooked. Looks like it's gonna fit. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, I just want a little one or sometimes I want one that fits in a punch. So I just grab one off the table that's about the right size. So I don't have to go searching through all my stamps. All right, so there's our words. And then we're gonna take and dip the edges in boho blue. So, oops, let me put it in the screen. So I have a really cool card to show you next time. I saw this video. So one of my friends, Vicki, um, sent me a picture of some cards that she made and she sent me the link to the video where she saw it another demonstrator do it and I was like that is so cool so I'm gonna do it properly Tuesday and I will definitely give the other girl credit who came up with it because it is really cool all right so then we've got our words done we've got we just got to put stuff together now all right so I did distress these so let me just get some cheapo scissors. Um, all right, let's see. I got my old scissors here. All right, so we're gonna just distress this. Now I saw some of you guys in the comments last time um, 
Oh, the just a note is from Inked and Tile. Thank you for finding that for me. Here comes the pig. <laughs> the punch is on back order. Oh, the hexagon punch. Darn it. Why is it all these things are back ordered when I'm using them? The pig. Oh, Wendy says pig, question mark. Don't you think that looks like a pig? I, every time I look at it, I think it looks like uh, a fetal pig from biology class when I was in high school. <laughs> I don't know why it just looks like that to me. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one because a lot of people have said that. But that background stamp is from Artistically Inked. It's in the big catalog. Um, so anyway, we do have a tool that we had in the catalog like probably five, ten years ago. And it was like on a keychain, and you could just run down the edge. And I've lost mine, but um, if you still have that, use that. But if you don't, you just take your fingernail or your scissors, and you don't want to use your good scissors because it will dull them. And it's gonna make a little bit of a mess. So let me just do it on here, and I'll put it in the trash. So I'm just gonna rough up the edges. If you don't want to do this, that's totally fine. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. Oops. And if you um, rip it, it's no big deal because you kind of want it to look like that. So let me do all of these and then I'll clean my space. So I was at work last night and this guy called. You know, the phone just rings off the hook all day, but... So, we have what they call mystery callers. So, from our home office, they call sometimes just to see if we're answering the phone correctly. And they give prizes for, I've never won one because I guess they've never called when I answer the phone. But several of the girls in the office have won before. And you get a gift card, like $25 gift card. So, we're supposed to answer the phone. Thank you for calling where I work. Um, at where I work, you know, so you say this whole spiel, uh, how can I help you? So it's this big, long spiel. So I always answer the phone, you know, real cheerfully. So this guy calls last night and he goes, holy cow. He said, how many cups of coffee have you had today? And I said, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> and he goes, really? He said, cause you are so perky. And it was like seven 30 last night. And, um, I said, well, I'm always kind of happy and Stuff. He goes, well, I want some of whatever you're taking. <laughs> and I said, it's a happy, happy pill of life. So I said, I just try to be happy. And uh, But it just cracked me up because he, he said, most people don't answer the phone like that. They're like, hello. <laughs> when you call a business or something. But, you know. I always try to be the bright spot in people's day. All right, now I've made a big mess, so let's clean this up. I don't think I need scrap paper anymore. Okay, now I got this everywhere. So maybe do it over a garbage can if you're doing it at home. Okay, so now we got all of our edges roughed up. And again, if you don't wanna do the roughing up, no big deal. I'm gonna kinda curl the edges a little bit. You know, make it, just use your fingernails if you have any. I only have like four. <laughs> I have like four good nails. <laughs> I woke up this morning and one of my really good ones was just broke. I'm like, how can my nail break while I'm sleeping? I'm telling you. But I just started taking this new stuff, my, um, friend at work, my boss actually, was talking about, well, she, she was just walking around and I said, I said, Kathy, your hair looks so good. I said, did you get it cut or highlighted or something? She said, no. She said, I've been taking this stuff. And she said, I've been taking it like two weeks and my hair, she has real fine hair like I do, kind of real thin, fine hair. And she said, ever since I started taking it, my hair is like so soft and it's it's I really feel like it's getting thicker and I was like well I need some of that so I ordered some I've only been taking it for two days but it's called Weem W-E-E-M I got it on Amazon and uh 
it's these little gummies and they taste really good so it's got all these different things in it for your nails and your hair so I'm hoping in a couple weeks it'll start working for me I don't know all right so there we go we've got all our pieces done so if I ever find something that works really really well I'll tell you about it all righty so let me read some comments real quick um oh Patricia says yes it does it does look like a pig even at low percent you can still have surgery but it's not cheap yeah I'm not paying for it because you know the eye doctor said you know if you if they if you need the cataract surgery they cover it but you have to be like I don't know 30 percent or something um oh Reva says she didn't see the pig till I said it now <laughs> that's all she you can't unsee it once you see it <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I'm serious. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Debbie. All right. So, what was I just saying? Oh, so one of my customers came over the other day that I hadn't seen in a long, long time. And, um, okay, so we're going to glue these down first. And so we were sitting there talking, she came to look through. I have this big table full of retired stuff that, um, you know, people can come by if they live around here and look through. And I posted it on Facebook Marketplace and stuff. And so I've had several people come by. And so this is one of my customers I hadn't seen in a long time. So we were sitting there talking and she said, um, you know, her husband had passed away and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And so we were just talking about different things, and she said um, that she had gone to this acupuncture place that's right around here. And I was like, wow, I said, did it work? And so we were sitting there talking about it. She's like, oh my gosh, she said it was like a miracle. And so I've got an appointment to go next week, and I'm really excited about it because um, I've heard lots of good things about doing acupuncture. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever done it. My sister used to live in um, Asia. She lived in um, Tokyo for a while. She lived in Hong Kong. She lived in um, Shanghai and Singapore. Her husband, he's like the CEO of an insurance company out there. Um, and so they've moved back to the United States now. But um, so my sister's a huge fan of I guess it's called Eastern medicine, you know, like natural approach to everything. So she used to go all the time. So I'm anxious to try it because supposedly, you know, they can get rid of all your aches and pains and all these different things. And so I'm gonna see if it works. I'll let you guys know. I'm up for anything. And even it's supposed to increase your metabolism. Oh, Marvis says acupuncture is the best. So I'm really excited. They don't take insurance, but it's not really that expensive. All right, so now we've got the front on. We're gonna put these pieces together. So we've got three of these. I'll just flip these over. I hate putting glue on the back piece when it's so pretty. That's the only bad thing. This, this paper, this paper and the lavender paper, it's like almost every piece, the front and the back is so pretty. You hate to put glue on either side of it. So I have a cute joke for you today. For some reason, my email was taking forever to pull up, but I finally got it. Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? I'll be cutting paper all day. <laughs> but the good thing is when I cut paper, I usually, I can't tell which way this goes. Oh, that way. Um, the good thing is it usually takes me several hours to cut all the paper and put everything in bags and, you know, pack it up and address all the envelopes and everything. So it's usually like a whole day thing. So what I do is I turn on um, either Amazon Prime or Netflix and start watching uh, either a movie or a uh, mini series and I've gotten hooked on a few really good ones lately I think I told you guys about um, 
One is um, The Way Home, and that one is actually on Hallmark. Um, that's got Andy McDowell in it, and it is so good. And they're just, they just started season two. And then there's another one on Netflix, and this guy, it's called um, Fool Me Once. So I watched that, and then I found out it's kind of like um, a series of books by this author, Harlan Coben, and they're all like mystery, suspense kind of things. And those you need to watch all in one or two days because once you start watching it, you have to keep going. It's like you're just hanging on the edge of your seat trying to find out what's going to happen. I've got glue on my fingers. And I got it on here. I don't have my adhesive remover either. All right. But there's another one. So I watched one called The Shelter. Um, one called, uh, I think it was Safe House. But if you just search Harlan Coben, there's like five or six of them on there and they're getting ready to make some more. But they're really good. They're all about maybe eight episodes each. All right, so these I'm gonna distress a little bit too. So we're just gonna do the edge of this. And make sure you're using an old pair of scissors, not your good ones. I have my good ones sitting next to me, so I know these are not that good. And then you kinda wanna curl the corners up a little bit too for that. All right, do the same thing. I'm making a mess. Oops. We had um, this man call last night and he was just the sweetest guy. So he was calling to thank us for, he came in and um, he was really bad off and so we took really good care of him you know the older people I really most of the old people that come in are just so sweet and I mean sometimes you get a crotchety old person in there but um, we have some patients that are like 90 95 years old and um, he was probably like 80 something but he came in and he was in a, um, a wheelchair and um, just the sweetest man so anyway, he called to thank us. He, he had to go to the hospital after he left. And he wanted to call and thank us because we had taken such good care of him. And I almost cried on the phone. I mean, he was just so sweet. And I said, well, thank you so much because, you know, 90% of the time people call to complain about something. You hardly ever get phone calls saying, thank you for being so nice and so wonderful and, you know taking good care of me. And I was like, I wish more people would do that. So if you have a good experience at a place, a restaurant or a store or something like that, it's always nice to, you know, if you feel like people have gone out of their way above and beyond, it's always nice to call and, you know, talk to a manager or something. I did it at Walmart one day. This is way before I stopped going to Walmart. But one time I went to Walmart about... Oh, it's been at least five or six years ago. And there was this one girl working there, and she was the sweetest thing. She had just moved here from Alabama or somewhere. Not your typical um, Walmart worker. And she came up to me, and she's like, can I help you find anything? And I was like, are you talking to me? <laughs> I never had anybody come up to me in Walmart and ask if I needed help. And I was like, well, yes. <laughs> and she took me all over the store helping me find stuff. She was so sweet, and I was like, I said, wow, you need a raise. So I went to the manager and found the manager, and I told him, I said, this girl is like the best worker you have. I said, I've never in my life seen somebody in the, like the 20 years I've been going to that store ever seen somebody offer to help me with something at that store. And um, so I just think if you have the chance to do that, you know, make somebody's day instead of just complaining all the time. Because I know it just makes people feel better. All right. Oh, so did you guys see what I just did? I was talking and I didn't say it. All right. So take your ribbon 
And I'm not doing a bow or a knot. So what I'm doing is I'm taking it and I'm just tying it right around the middle and doing a single knot. And you wanna kinda of get it right in the center and pull it. And then you just lay it down flat, like right about two thirds of the way down and tape it to the back. And if you wanna put a glue dot under the, the little bump on the front, the knot you can. But that just gives it a little bit of, instead of just having it straight across, it gives it a little bit of um, pizzazz, like a really neat finished look to it. All right, so there we go. Let me read some comments. Yes, people are more likely to complain than compliment. That is definitely true. And and I do that too, but I also do call both ways. So if I have to complain, I call definitely. But if somebody is really, really super great, I call and say the same, you know, how great they were too, because I try to be both. If somebody's not doing their job, then somebody needs to know about it. But if they're doing a great job, because right now in these times, customer service is going out the window, I'm telling you. The greatest place ever that you pretty much consistently get excellent service is Chick-fil-A. I have never, ever been to Chick-fil-A and haven't had a great experience. No matter what time, what how busy it is, nothing. It's always great. All right, so this is gonna go on flat. I'll put a little bit of glue on the ribbon. And just go right in the center. Now, I love this distressing. I know some of you guys don't like distressing because you told me <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> a few people said, I love the, that card you did, but I don't like tearing and I don't like ripping and I don't like all that so everybody has their preference that's fine we all have our own opinions so if you don't like it you don't have to do it but I personally love distressed shabby chic looking things my whole house is decorated in the farmhouse style so it's all kind of rustic a lot of gray black and white stuff and um, just I love that that look but I do have accent pieces a lot of accent pieces in my house are pretty peacock color so it's like gray black white and pretty peacock and it's so pretty love it my old house was so opposite in colors it was more like earth tones and stuff all right so these are gonna go on with dimensionals and these go on with dimensionals and let me read some comments real fast um, Oh, your sister. Oh, Regina, your sister, and you did that at Lowe's a few months ago, trying to pick out everything for your parents' shower and had the best help. Yep, and that's unusual because Lowe's really is hard to find somebody to help you. Oh, Mary, you had the same thing when you had shoulder surgery. I did too. I had a shoulder, not replacement, but uh, what do you call it? Uh, rotator cuff. Yeah. But the best was when I had my hysterectomy. I'm telling you, I wrote a letter to the hospital then because um, I had the best nurses. I was by myself because it was after I got divorced. My um, daughter, she came to visit a couple times, but I really didn't have anybody there. I had a couple friends that stopped by to visit, but I was in the hospital for a week because I had a lot of complications. And probably 90% of the time I was by myself. So the nurses that were there just took the best care of me, but they said that I was their favorite patient too. <laughs> Cause even though I felt so horrible, I mean, I was just like in a lot of pain. I still made them laugh all the time. So they said, you're just the best patient. So that they always would, you know, I didn't ask for much, but they would just stop by all the time to check on me and stuff. And that's hard too, because in the medical field now, I mean, that was uh, like seven or eight years ago, but everybody shows so short staffed, including me, my place, that it's just hard to give that, you know, extra because you're just worn out. Whoops. Did I do that crooked? 
Wait a minute. That one's crooked. Okay. I'm like, why is that one stamped on both sides? I forgot I messed it up. Kind of threw me off a minute. Don't forget to use these outside pieces on your um, dimensionals because they work just as well as the other pieces do. Okay, so now we got all those done. Put them on. All right, so this, oh, that's probably a little bit high. I don't want it quite that high, but that's all right. I was talking, yesterday I got together with my um, friends. We had breakfast and celebrated one of the girls' birthdays and I had a lot of tape on this one. I need a adhesive remover. And so my friend Colleen was there. And she she has a YouTube channel too. And we were talking about uh, doing our videos. And she's like me. So she does hers live and doesn't edit or anything. So she's like, yeah, if I mess up, I mess up. Oh, well. I said, I know. <laughs> I said, I was so worried when I first started doing videos that people would be like, man, she messes up all the time. But you just got to laugh about it and keep on going. Because I'm not spending hours editing the videos and and editing out all my mistakes. So you get what you get with me. All right, just let me read some more. Oh, Bunko, you're gonna go with Bunko. I love Bunko. My brother-in-law will tell a nasty employee to go punch out for the day, come back to work tomorrow with a better attitude. <laughs> you know what? One of the girls at that works for me at, at uh, where I work, um, you know, I can't tell you the name of it because I'll get in trouble, but, um, the other day I came in on Wednesday and I am talking, she was, she was in an attitude. Oh my gosh. And so I was like, what is the matter with you today? And she goes, nothing. She goes, why does everybody keep asking me that? I'm like, uh, because you have a serious attitude problem right now. And she goes, no, I don't. I wish everybody would just leave me alone. I'm like, Okay. So, I didn't say anything to her, but I should have, but I'm like, you know, that's not what I want to see the first thing I walk in. <laughs> when I walk into work, it's just somebody who's in a rotten mood, you know? So, because I always walk in, I'm like, hey, everybody, and I walk around, I say hello to everybody, and how you doing? You know, I just don't understand. If you're having a bad day, don't take it out on me. All right, we need some gems. And I always like the saying, like when somebody's having a bad day, you want to say, um, who peed in your Cheerios? <laughs> all right, so we're going to put some gems all over. I think I'm just going to do two right there and one down here. And then we'll do some shimmer and our joke. And then I've got some cards to give away and I had... A few that were not um, claimed, so I'm going to redo those. So make sure if your name is called, you only have a week to claim your cards. And then if you don't claim them in one week, I am giving them to somebody else. So make sure you're watching all the videos. All right, so there's all the gems. Now we're going to spray with some shimmer. And I always do it pretty much at the end of the video, so. Love it. And when you spray it, it really makes the colors pop too, I think. Oh, love it. All right, so there we go. So this is the new card kit. And I didn't see Starla on here, because she, she does the PDFs for me, but I know I forgot to put them straight half the time. So there you go, and here's the original one. Look at the shimmer, can you see that shimmer? So pretty. You know this, the, the paper separates if you do it like that, distress it? You can actually get it to separate, and that makes a really cool thing. Let me see if I can do it here. You just gotta ruffle it up, and then the paper turns into almost like cotton. Instead of paper, it feels more like um, cotton. Well, for some reason, it's not doing it right now, but usually it's pretty easy just to split it. 
Okay, I give up. <laughs> of course, when I say let's do it, it doesn't work. <laughs> Hold on. I know I did it on this. Okay, here we go. So here I did it here. So see, you can just rip those two pieces together. I mean, apart, and then you get this like really soft. Um, it feels just like suede almost. So if you ever want to do that to your paper, just to stress that a little bit and roll up the, uh, you can just pull those apart and have some really cool um, paper that looks different, but it feels like suede. All right, you guys ready for a joke? Oh, let me read some comments real quick. You case my cards during the week, Jana. Oh, Jana, your um, joke is the one I'm telling today. So I'm telling your joke that you sent me. Thank you, Anya. Three inches of white. Oh, Tony, you got snow. I have to watch the whole thing. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> if you're having a bad day, you might want to think about who is the common denominator. Ah. Oh. Does that mean look at yourself, I guess? Wait, paper. Oh, wadding up the paper. Yes, I, I like to do that too. Um, what about the patch you used to wear? Yeah, you know what happened with that? So I started wearing that patch and it was giving me a rash. So I had to stop wearing it because I, if I was wearing it on my arm, it was leaving a rash because I'm allergic to adhesive. So I tried putting it on my leg and it worked better on my leg, but... Um, I just stopped wearing it because it was giving me a rash because the, the like a band-aid I can't wear band-aids either so anyway all right so it's time for the joke and this joke is from Miss Jana oh you know what I forgot to pull it up <laughs> I couldn't get my um, email to come up so I said well I'm gonna print it out from my phone so I printed it out from my phone and now my email popped up, hold on. Let me find it real quick. Darn it. I know it wasn't from that long ago. It is over on my printer, but hold on. Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, Elmer and his wife Edna go to the state fair every year, and every year Elmer would say, Edna, I'd really like to ride in that helicopter. Edna also always replies, um, I know Elmer, but the helicopter ride is 50 bucks, and 50 bucks is 50 bucks. One year, Elmer and Edna went to the fair, and Elmer said, Edna, I'm 75 years old. If I don't ride that helicopter, I might never get another chance. To this, Edna replied, Elmer, that helicopter ride is 50 bucks, and 50 bucks is 50 bucks. The pilot overheard the couple and said, folks, I'll make you a deal. I'll take the both of you for a ride. If you can stay quiet for the entire ride and don't say a word, I won't charge you a penny. But if you say one word, it's $50. Elmer and Edna agreed and went up they went. The pilot did all kinds of fancy maneuvers, but not a word was heard. He did his daredevil tricks over and over again, but still not a word. When they landed, the pilot turned to Elmer and said, by golly, I did everything I could to get you to yell out, but you didn't. I'm impressed. Elmer replied, well, to tell you the truth, I almost said something when Edna fell out, but you know, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. <laughs> so, thank you, Jana, for that joke. I, I thought that was really cute. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Oh, and I've got cards. So some of these are ones that I already gave away and nobody claimed. So here we go. And then here's my email address. So send me um, your address to my email and I'll send you the cards. So I've got a few that still haven't been claimed. So Paula Newman, these are from the last time, Kitty Williams and Marsha Murphy. You've won those from last time and they haven't been claimed yet. And then we've got five to give away today. So I've already picked the winners from the last video. So I'm picking them from the comments from the video before. So this one is Donna Herling, Herlinger or Herlinger. So she gets this one. Veronica Meyer. 
you get this one. Denise Gardner, you get this one. And Bobette Grover, you get this one. And Deborah Field, you get this one. So there you go. Let me spread them all out so you can see. So if you um, see your name here, make sure. Let me put my email right there. Here we go. Are these all in the screen? I can't tell. Can't tell. Hold on. Let me scoot them over. There we go. All right. So if you see your name here, you want a card and make sure. Um you claim it and so some of these are fresh today and then some of them i think these three are from last time so you still have um one more video till tuesday and if nobody claims these tuesday these will be re-given re out so and some of you guys are like i've never won one so i put your name on it and then you don't claim it <laughs> so you guys gotta claim these cards because a lot of people want them if you don't all right, and don't forget, don't forget that too on my email. And then also, don't forget, if you want to order, you get the new kit starting now. And there's the host code. So thank you guys so much for joining me on your Saturday morning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do the thumbs up for me. Um, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will pick five winners for the next time from the comments. And you can comment here or on the comment section after the video. So I will see you back on Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Have a great weekend, everybody. And share that joke with somebody that uh, needs to have a laugh for today. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.